Hello, welcome to this course. So the name of course is Mechanics of Materials, Timber and Masonry Structures Design. Well, uh, this name is because we are going to learn a variety of topics from different subjects. So based on that, I try to name our course. And the first lecture for our course will be uh, based on the stress and strain. So before we start our lecture one, first we will see what are the content that we are going to learn in this course. So our course will be divided into four unit and unit one is based on the subject mechanics of material. And in this, uh, we will study st stress strain, modulus of elasticity, stress diagram, strain diagram. We will also try to understand what is the meaning of bending stresses, shear stresses. We will study a section which is subjected to pure bending. Similarly, we will get introduced with some, some of the terms like neutral axis, what is the meaning of moment of resistance, and similarly, the term section modulus. So that is the content that we are going to cover in unit one at that and that comes under the subject of mechanics of material. Then in unit two, we will get introduced with the material, which is timber. Timber is basically a wood. So we will get introduced with this uh, term timber and then we will try to understand more uh, this material as a structure material. So we will see what are the various defects in the timber and how they impact on the structural properties of the timber, how it affect the strength of timber. And then like we conduct various tests on the timber. So we will see what are the permissible stresses that a timber can resist. And there are some modification factors which are related to timber because in the design of timber structures, we use those modification factor and a classification of timber and then we have an inter, uh, in Indian uh, standard IS code, uh, which is uh, based on the timber construction and the code is IS883. So we will get introduced with this uh, code and we will be using this code for designing timber structures. And we will also get introduced with the bamboo, bamboo as a structural material. So we will see what is bamboo and we will try to understand this uh, more. And in unit three, it is all about the design of timber elements. So for example, how do we design timber beams, timber column, uh, fleshed beam, built up beams, okay? And we also uh, analyze timber column, solid columns, built up columns, and design of simple trusses. So in the previous course, that is uh, structural mechanics, in that we have analyzed uh, truss. Now in this course, we are going to uh, design uh, the members of trusses so that we will see. And in unit four, this unit four is all about the brick, brick as a structural material. So first we will understand what is brick and what is the property of the bricks. And then we will design some uh, elements of the bricks. For example, the load bearing walls, foundations uh, that we generally construct in the brick masonry. So, that is the content that we are going to cover in this course. So unit one is all about uh, the subject mechanics of material, then unit three, unit two, and unit four. It is based on the subject timber structures and masonry uh, structure design. Now, uh, this content will require some reference books. So I, I will suggest you some books. So these are the books that we can refer to to cover our content. So this uh, book can be referred to cover our unit one. And for unit two, three, and four, we can refer this book, which is Design and Design of Masonry and Timber Structures by uh, Professor Harbhajan Singh. So you can uh, refer these two books to cover our content. And beside this, we will be referring to IS code. So this uh, first IS code, which is based on, I mean, which is related to the structural timber in building. So to design structural timber element, we will be referring this IS code, which is IS883-1993. In this uh, IS stands for Indian standard, 883 is the serial number of the code. And uh, the, this is the year in which it was uh, revised. 
and similarly we will be using the next code which is is 19051987 so this code we will refer when we will be designing the brick masonry structures so to design brick masonry structures we will be referring this code so these four text we will be using uh, textbook we will be using for uh, uh, covering our course course content so in the next part we will start our lecture 1 thank you